Okay, everyone, welcome back. So we are continuing on uh, our theme of golf ball test. We've done a lot of that in yes. the last couple of weeks. Absolutely. Um, lots to talk about, lots of uh, new additions in the lineup. And, and we're sticking with Titleist uh, again today. We're going to do the brand new 2020 AVX, uh, slightly modified from the, the first edition. Right, yep. Uh, and we're going to stick and compare it to Left Ash Pro V1X. We've done a lot of tests with this recently. Mm -hmm. We thought that was a good test because they are both designed for low spin. Yeah, the difference comes from compression. Exactly. Right. So uh, Low and high. Lots of people out there who are looking for less spin. We get the driver shaft question all the time and, mm. and we tend to uh, lead people away from that uh, sort of line of thinking and go down the, the thought of maybe your loft is too high, maybe the CG is too deep and back in your driver, uh, maybe your golf ball spins a little too much. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to do that little test today. Um, some of the modifications with AVX 2020 is that it's going to give you a little bit more green side spin. Okay, so they addressed, the that was the main complaint. That was, yeah. yeah. A lot of people uh, who played it kind of felt like it was, it was maybe uh, didn't quite spin enough uh, with the short irons or, or around right. the greens. So we are going to test that today. Um, I think one thing let's add to the today's test that we don't normally do is a 50 yard chip. Yeah, so uh, a high, high lofted wedge, yeah. shorter shot. So we'll, we'll do kind of our 50 yard for you, which is your 58 degree uh, Voc AM grind. Yes. Uh, we'll do a 50 yard, then we'll do a 54 seven iron driver, which is Perfect. the usual stuff. Gotcha. And, and see how that uh, progression goes. Mm -hmm. um, we're fresh off our video doing the, uh, the Wilson Duo versus mm. Uh, Pro V1, so we kind of have an, an idea what's going to happen with the compression story. Yes, but different uh, construction balls, though I guess. Very right? different. Very so different. We, we don't know quite what will happen with that, but should gotcha. be interesting. All right, uh, we are going to do uh, a little test of the yellow AVX. Yes, the yellow. We have not. Uh, we've not tested any yellow golf balls on, on the channel and, and no. seen if, if we've kind of found anything with them. So. Um, titles were kind to Throw send us a, a dozen of the white and the yellow. It's getting more popular, the yellow. It really is. It really is. I'm talking to a ton of people this year who are saying, you know, does it come in a yellow uh, <laughs> colour? Yeah. It's interesting. I think when you're out there in the fairway and, you know, you're, two, you're playing with your two or three friends and, and you're able to walk straight to your golf ball because it's yellow. It's yellow. Uh, and and it obviously sticks out like a sore thumb. I can see the appeal of it, yeah. Absolutely. Why not? Yeah, this will be good. I'm, okay. I'm curious. I think there'll be a lot of people interested in, in this sort of low spin golf ball test. Yes. Pro V1X obviously has uh, has changed in its, its sort of characteristics in, in terms of being a slightly higher spinning golf ball, which is why we think the left dash Pro V1X is a slightly more relevant uh, golf ball. One of my great friends has been an AVX player and actually sent him down to Florida this week with some left dash Pro V1s. Um, and I'm not, not exaggerating here, we done a fit the other day and he picked up about 40 yards um, going to one and a half degree left, less loft mm -hmm. and, and that left dash probably one. That is insane. And he said on the golf course he sees exactly the same thing. Because he had so much spin, he had to drop his spin down. Uh, that was the main he, he had excess spin and he yeah. was really low in efficiency. His, right, so his, his compression was, was terrible. Um, so he, he gained a ton of ball speed and, and dropped about 1,000 RPMs of spin That's and picked up about 40 yards. Yeah, he was really Jeez. getting self-conscious that he'd lost a lot of speed and um, you know, thinking it was all him. And mm. you know, there's parts of it are him, but we yeah. are now making modifications to his setup to uh, get it back. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Awesome. All right, let's start with some, uh, some testing on the yellow AVX. Okay, yellow AVX. Oh. That's it. Lovely. That's hit well. That sounded really nice. That's good. It's a good shot. Correct distance. That's perfect. Oi! Oh! Oh! That's gonna chew. Mm, that sounds really good. Yeah, that's. That's well nice. hit. That's nice. Just a little more speed, that was all. That's all I needed, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Really different. Firm. 
That might go in. Oh! 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 <laughs> Whoa, yes! What a day! Chugged it. Solid. Good. Solid too. That is a good one. Yep. Get up. Okay. Sound difference is ridiculous. Yeah, it's completely different sound. Significant, isn't it? Okay, yeah, that was a good shot. That's a goodie. Oh. That's lovely. That is lovely. Two lovelies. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. long as well. Yeah, it looked different. Looked lower spin. That's good. Yep. Very and the nice. boundaries of the green. Okay, one more. That's nice. Okay, that was a good drive. Okay, right. uh, good, good, good. Um, the 50 yard test, which is a new addition to our mm. ball test, I think was well worth admin. I agree. Well worthwhile, especially for the people who played last year's AVX, the original AVX, mm -hmm. and, and maybe found that it was lacking a little something around the greens. And we, we saw that when you struck it really well, you were able to get it up close to where the other golf balls were. Yeah. But it, on average, it did drop about 500 RPMs less yeah. than uh, A, the 2020 AVX, and the Left Dash the Pro dash. V1X. Yep. So they two came out really similar, actually. Mm. Um, 7200, 7200, literally 21 RPMs between those on a 50 yard shot. Yeah, it's impressive, actually. I think that AVX has, has been improved in the one category that it really lacked in. Yeah. Was that you just couldn't get quite enough spin around, you know, a partial shot, basically, a partial yep. wedge shot. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But eliminating 2019 AVX, if we just <laughs> look at what we're looking at today, yeah. similar. Very similar. Yeah, very similar. Slightly lower uh, trajectory um, on the launch with uh, Pro V1X, uh, which I'm surprised at. I kind of almost thought that would be the other way around because of the, the core, but yeah. um, it, it didn't turn out to be the case. Now, whether that's definitive, we'd probably need to, we probably need to stand there and hit 50 more with each to, to know exactly what's going on. But yeah. um, the, the main thing we were able to see was a real consistency pattern on the, on the spin. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So seven iron. Um, if we look at these guys, uh, we saw a very similar thing than mm. what we saw with the the Duo and the Pro V1. Pro V1 standard, yeah. When you get into the kind of mid irons, it levels out a little bit really from did. a ball speed perspective. Yeah. Um, Basically almost the same, right? Yeah. So <laughs> if anything, you know, AVX had a slight bump on it, mm -hmm. but you could start to see the spin separation starting to appear. Yeah. Uh, 450. And uh, less RPM. so, right? So the Duo was a super low spin ball. The AVX is more of a mid to high spin ball. Yeah. I mean, well, maybe not high, but mid spin ball. Mid probably. spin golf ball and for the, sure. The dash is kind of inching its way up there a little bit. 
So it has picked up some really good short game spin, it has. but it's still very low spin in the in the mid irons. That's what people are buying it for, right? Like, yeah, I think they, so. they wouldn't want to see that. Yep. Um, we're not framing this as a negative. Like the fact no, that it's good. low is it's what it was intended for. I've I've t uh, chatted with a lot of really good players over the past year who say that they really? love uh, AVX and and it kind of really flattens out the peak of their flight, and that's exactly that's what exactly this is. Exactly what it did. If if you're looking at a, a slightly lower uh, launch angle, a slightly less spin, but mm. not giving up any ball speed and you've got a little bit of a pitchy flight, why wouldn't you? That's very true. No, there is no downside. No downside. Really no downside. No downside Now that you can whatsoever. spin the wedge a bit more, there really is no downside. So interestingly, when you get to the driver, what mm. we always see happen continues to happen, yep. which is it just becomes a speed game. Yeah. Big pickup in speed once you start compressing it with a straight face golf club. Yeah, it really com comes down to that yep. again. So the duo was another solid three miles an hour slower even than that AVX. So that's sort of your levels of compression, which is why I think this is quite interesting. And mm. we have the numbers from earlier, which is nice. You've got basically the softest ball you can possibly buy. Yep. You've got what a, probably a mid compression ball. Yeah. Um, and then you've got basically the firmest compression ball. Pretty much you firmest can buy. out there. And the, the increments of them are almost exactly, you know, yeah. two and a half or three uh, miles an hour between them. It's interesting to see the launch, how consistent that is. That is. Yeah. Uh, obviously the cover is, is kind of dictating a bit of performance here mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, the the uh, spin rates, uh, 300, 304, 310, uh, and largely uh, largely due to yeah, mostly speed, right? Just changes in speed, hmm. and these are these are standard enough. I mean, actually, probably if anything, the, the launch conditions with the duo is helping it stay competitive. Well, look at that. I agree. That's yeah. uh, the the duo ended up going longer than AVX based on <laughs> uh, the fact that it was 400 RPMs. Uh, less. Uh, it is interesting. That, that's why I think when we did the duo test, I said, I mean, it, the yardage claims they've made made total sense in the shorter irons. Yeah. And, I, and I do think the driver could keep up. You just won't know how it got yeah. there. You won't, yeah. you know, if you're playing the golf ball, reality is you don't know what your ball mm -hmm. speed is. Mm -hmm. You just know the ball ended up in the yardage that you usually are in. Yeah. So, so nice. I think, uh, I think, you know, I think the uh, moral of the story is AVX has been improved. I agree. I think the short game spin that you will see uh, is, is going to be of benefit now and that will start to become uh, a better golf ball uh, than, oh, totally. than, it, than it was previously. What's interesting is that it doesn't spin too much. Did we look at 54 degree wedge? I think we forgot. We maybe skipped right over <laughs> it. Let's look at that really quick. So yeah, when it comes to the, the 54 degree, that it's still not, it's not like they've gone too far and now you're going to zip your wedges back, which this player doesn't want, period. Yeah. But they've bumped the 50 yard um, spin, spin appropriately to where it, it helps the player that needs to, yeah. to zip it a bit. Yeah. It's good. I think it's a great job. It? Yep. Smart. It's a good ball. Very good golf good ball. Good job on them. Okay, uh, guys, hopefully this has uh, helped you with your decisions and what ball you're going to play for the year. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so much good stuff out there. I feel like we've kind of still got some, we've not really touched tailor-made golf balls this year. We want to yep, do we got lots some of tour response. Do. We want to do, we are listening to you guys. We want to do the Project A versus the new tour response. That's, yep. that's one that's high in our list. Uh, I think that's a tour response, a great value golf ball. And obviously with the urethane cover, the cast urethane thin cover, mm. we think that could be a, a, a real good one for a lot of you guys. Agreed. We're kind of testing these golf balls where we see the extreme of, of uh, Duo Soft Plus, and we see Left Dash Pro V1, and we've we talked about the need for something right in between, and, and that, that could be uh, could be sitting in a really nice way. All right, well that'll be fun. Cool. All right, guys, stay tuned for that. We'll see you again soon.